I stumbled across this little app. It's an online site, and you can also get an app down at the bottom under the App Store or Google Play, and it's called New Profile Pick. I'm just using the PC version, and here I'm just going to select a photo just by clicking this green photo button. And I'm going to pick this picture of John Lennon. This is a public domain photograph. I'm going to select it. Now it's just going to think, and it's actually going to render a portrait based on the face using artificial intelligence. It's pretty cool. I'm really surprised at the quality of this considering this was done in less than 30 seconds. There's options along the top and the bottom as well. So when I click along the top, we can see it's like an airbrush, almost like a t-shirt, you know, an airbrush t-shirt design with different backgrounds. And I really like the way this looks. Now I will say there is a watermark on the lower right hand side called newprofilepick.com. So you can see here, this one, you, it has it, but you could easily, with Photoshop, you could remove it if you wanted. So I really think this is an awesome looking app. And again, I'm not suggesting this is the be-all end-all for making t-shirt designs. And I would also not suggest that you start running rampant and start uploading a ton of celebrities' faces onto t-shirts. I just thought this was a really cool idea that if you wanted to update your own profile picture or a friend, put it on a t-shirt. Or if you had a public domain photograph, this could be a great way to do it. Some of the effects in here are really, really cool. Now I'm going to pick another person here. I'm going to click Change Photo down at the bottom, and I'm going to select this Albert Einstein head. And it does a really good job with black and white photographs too. Remember, this was originally a black and white photograph. And now we can see it's been colorized, and it's got a background on there. Again, there is a watermark down below. I'm not saying that's the worst thing in the world, because obviously they want to make their money and advertise for this site. This is a completely free site. And now if I want to download this, I'll simply click the green download button on the bottom right hand side. So the original picture on the left is my Wikimedia public domain photograph. It's pretty rinky dink. It's only 675 pixels by 900 pixels. And this new one is not much bigger. It's 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. So again, I'm not saying it's the super highest quality. If you had Photoshop or Affinity Photo, you'd want to size it up. But this is a really nice looking portrait. And you know, if you had friends or family that you wanted to put their picture on, this is a really easy way to do it. So you know, it's a fun way to kill a couple hours if you wanted to play around with an oil painting filter. There's some really cool backgrounds on here too. Hope you guys found that helpful. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills. Thanks a lot for watching.